Hi, I'm Kerwin Kohlheffer. I'm a pathologist assistant, an ASCP member, and for the last four years, I've been doing these What's My Next presentations. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to go about putting together a presentation and give you some tips on making your presentation successful and as painless as possible. I think students benefit greatly from the presentations because they have an opportunity to see a direct tie between some of the things they're learning in their science classes and actual application as a career. Step one, finding a school. So for me, I've always found a, a lot of luck in first looking for schools online and then reaching out individually to science teachers, career teachers, guidance counselors, and principals. Um, I follow up on an initial uh, snail mail letter with an email later on and then a phone call to try to actually schedule the date and answer any questions they have. Well, there's a lot of places that you can actually look to do presentations in addition to high schools. I've had middle school teachers who've contacted me. Um, you can look at boys and girls clubs or other neighborhood organizations, maybe Boy Scouts or even Girl Scouts. Uh, you can look at public libraries. You can look at colleges and universities in your area and sometimes reaching out to students who may be pre-med and who are interested in medicine may have never considered careers in laboratory medicine. Step two, making arrangements for the presentation. After we've agreed upon a date for the presentation, the next step is to evaluate what things do I need to give the presentation. This could be technology, it could be how much time you have allotted, and then I also look at what the school can provide. By reconciling what the school can provide and what I need for the presentation, I can tailor the presentation to meet the needs of the students in a situation. Step three, prepare the presentation. When I was creating my uh, What's My Next presentation, I started off with the What's My Next PowerPoint and used this as a framework to build the rest of the presentation. You can flesh this out using uh, photos, using videos if possible, and make sure to add anecdotes and stories from work. These are the kinds of things that are gonna bring the students out of the classroom for a moment and actually into your workplace. One of the best ways to uh, maintain interest or to, to pique the student's interest is by uh, having some sort of an activity plan. You can do this at the beginning, the end, the middle, that's up to you. Um, by doing an activity, you can also help to generate interest and enthusiasm, and it's not just a boring talk that they're listening to. Step four, some tips on presenting. Some of the basic tips that I give somebody for doing a presentation are to dress professionally and to relax. Those are the two biggest things. Uh, if you can relax, then you can roll with the punches. You're going to make mistakes, you're going to drop something or spill something, or you're going to misspeak in a way that's embarrassing. When it happens, laugh it off and roll with it. Similarly, watch your time, but don't watch it too closely. You don't want to be watching the clock the whole time, but if you see that you start to run late, go ahead and edit a little bit on the fly. Remove some things you might have wanted to say, and go ahead and just fit up the things in that you really need to do. It's always nice to take photographs or even some video if you can uh, during the presentation, but keep in mind that if you're photographing or videotaping students, that there could be some releases or permission slips that'd be necessary from their parents. Step five, following up after the presentation. In following up with the teachers after the presentation, I like to send an email to thank them for their time and for the opportunity to speak with them and their students. Um, I also like to uh, reiterate my contact information in case they have any questions and give them the websites for ASCP and What's My Next once again so they can provide those to their students. Um, I also let them know that if uh, they know anyone who might be interested in a presentation to go ahead and share my contact information um, so that I can schedule that with their friends. When you're ready to get your presentation together, first go to What's My Next and get the materials you'll need to actually build the presentation. Then, make sure to go to one lab at ASCP so you can talk with others, learn from their experiences, and make sure to post your own experiences, photos and videos from your presentations. 